So these two games today against Inter Milan and Juventus are really going to show us where this squad lies in terms of the quality of this league. Let's get into it and see how we get on. So following on from the last episode, the first game was a 2-1 away defeat against Atalanta. This was a huge game actually. They were in fifth at the time and the defeat massively closed the gap between us and outside of the Champions League spots. We did bounce back though with a 4-1 home win against Udinese, Hlozek with a hat-trick and Bedell from the penalty spot. 2-1 away from home against Verona followed that. Uh, Moise Keane and Hlozek on the score sheet. Huge game against Napoli, absolutely huge. We managed to win this one 3-2. Uh, Moise Keane, Hlozek and Thiago Almada getting three goals after we were 2-0 down going into the second half. And we exercised some demons with a 1-0 home win against Lazio. And look at the match stats. We completely dominated the Moist came with the only goal of the game 21 minutes in and that sees the Serie A table looking like this we are currently in third place we are eight points clear from Napoli in fifth that's why that win against Napoli was absolutely huge Sassuolo still doing well in second place one point ahead of us and seven points away from Juventus at the top of the table that brings us to today then Juventus uh, Inter Milan at, away from home and then UV at home the end of the season is fast approaching and if we can avoid defeat in these two games, our running is looking pretty handsome in terms of the opposition. So as long as we don't absolutely capitulate and start a terrible run in these two games, top four is in my opinion a certainty. Inter Milan not having the best of seasons, they're currently sitting in sixth position, obviously Juve is sitting top. Uh, Inter Milan did win the league last season, uh, not on Juve's uh, record of God knows how many league titles in a row. But they're still going to be a good side. We can't underestimate them. Let's get into the game and see how we do. So the starting lineup for today's game. Sport yellow and goal. Sardella comes in at right back for Giglione. Anel, David Carmo, Sisbora comes in for the suspended. Ehen Munoz, Thiago Almada, Thomas Belmont, Moise Kane, Melagioni, Carlos Alcaraz. Pretty full strength. Uh, we haven't got many injuries. Just that Munoz uh, suspension for today's game. I don't think we had a very good record against Inter Milan last season. I'm not sure how we performed against them this season. But uh, our games tend to go one of two ways. We either get beat or we win. We don't tend to draw many. I think we've drew one in the league so far this season. First highlight of the game is a corner for us. Alcaraz plays it in. It is cleared quite easily. Belmont picks up the loose ball. Moise Keane drives forward through the centre. Finds Adam Hlozek. And I'll tell you what, his first time finishing is something special he's 37th goal he's a little bit broken i was having a look at his attributes earlier and i was thinking there's absolutely no way he should be as good he as he is but he's just he's been superb absolutely superb and i wouldn't be surprised if we had some big money offers in the summer would i take it we'll have to wait and see <laughs> we have actually made some changes to the tactics in the past four or five games or so we've went a little bit more um conservative in our attacking player we start most games on the balance team mentality and adjust from there. And we've shortened our passing and our tempo just to retain possession a little bit more. We've, we've definitely got the quality in the side to be able to justify that and make a work play in a more tiki-taka style of football. Um, so it's worked out well, especially against Napoli was when I made the major changes and we massively came back in that second half. But we have Hakimi coming down the line 30 minutes in for Inter Milan. He whips it in. Oh, Zapata was there. It's a good challenge. I think it was um, Sardella. Well done, son. Another highlight now, Hakimi takes the ball off Moise Keane and Inter Milan can work it down this right-hand side, Sisbora. He hasn't got much of a chance against Hakimi. Uh, he plays it back to Marcelo Brozovic, Eriksen. They're just toying with us, toying with us. Get the challenge in, boys. Oh, Eriksen's ball is beautiful for Barella. Marco Sportiello has been a fantastic signing for a free transfer. And there we have it, half-time, Inter Milan, nil, Genoa one. Probably a little bit undeserved, but... I'm not going to complain. 45 minutes to go. Can we hold on? Eriksen with the first highlight for Inter Milan. The second half. Mat oh, is that actually counting as his goal? Or who was that on the line? Sisbora. <laughs> that was dreadful. Eriksen's ball's played in. Zapata heads it down. Oh, Sisbora doesn't even react. Sport Yellow tries. But Sisbora, that's why we play Ehen Munoz. And that's probably why we'll be looking for a left back in the summer. Another highlight now, Sisbora plays it at Melagioni inside. Barella intercepts the pass, though. We do keep possession and we're all advanced, so uh, nothing too bad there. Sisbora to Moise Kane and backwards. Can he whip the ball in? Back post. Ah, he goes all the way back. We've got uh, Belmont on the edge. He hasn't got the shooting. Alcaraz has, though, and we're not offside. Carlos Alcaraz's third goal of the season puts us 2-1 up. 
the uh, equaliser didn't last very long and with 30 minutes, 35 minutes left, we can be a little bit more comfortable. We are going to go on a cautious team mentality. Um, Inter Milan are definitely having the better of this game, so I want to limit their opportunities as much as we physically can. Highlight now, Duvan Zapata's ball through for Martinez is beautiful. He's in behind. He goes wide though. With 20 minutes or so to go, we'll look to make some changes. Alcaraz is on a yellow card. And um, we'll bring on a Casata for him, even though Alcaraz is playing well. I just don't want to risk that red card. Melagioni as well. We'll bring on Milan Bedell for him. And we'll put Milan back in defensive midfield. And Thomas Belmont could come in at the centre. We are going to take off Sardella for Giglione as well at right back. Sardella on a yellow card. Don't want to risk that. Martinez is in behind. He's going to score this. You could tell Marco Spartiello wasn't covering his front post well enough. And um, he, Martinez's 10th goal of the season. Not doing particularly well for Inter Milan. If he ever wants to make the journey down to Genoa, I will be a uh, game for that. Another highlight now. Almada with a free kick. Handanovic claims. Five minutes to go. Oh, I'm, I'm not fancying the draw. Can we get the win, boys? Um, uh, Inter Milan have definitely had the better of the game. Don't get me wrong. But I would fancy a win here as Thiago Almada goes through. Handanovic with a big, big save for Inter Milan. We do get the corner though. Almada is the man to take it. Handanovic claims. Oh, two minutes to go. I was just about to say it looks like it's going to be our second draw of the season. Is there going to be late dramatics? Almada is the furthest man forward. Moise Keane does find him. We've got men in support now, but it's a good chance by the Inter Milan defender. Who is that? It's Casata to Moise Keane in the box. He hits the post. Moise Keane and the post. Name a worst duo. And there we have it. Our second draw of this season away from home against Inter Milan. It's not a bad result by any stretch of the imagination. It did end up being a pretty even game looking at the match stats, which I can't do. Never mind. Let's move on. UVNX at home. We're, we're absolutely bodied them away from home, so hopefully we can do the same at home. There was the match stats, by the way. Was A, a draw was probably a fair result. Only a couple of changes to the starting eleven for the Juventus game. Giglione comes in at right back. Munoz returns at left back. Casata comes in for the suspended Thomas Belmont. Melagioni moves to left uh, defensive midfield. Casata and Alcaraz in the centre. The front three remains the same. Remember, we beat Juventus 2-0 away from home with this exact tactic. Can we do it again at home? I'm certainly hoping so. First highlight of the game comes one minute in. We're in possession in our own box. Melagioni pumps it forward, gives the ball to Juve, so uh, we can see how this is going. Kessie tries to find Ronaldo, Sportiello is, is there. That's fine. We do like to give the ball away quite often, but Alcaraz wins it back for us. Hlozek picks up the ball. He hasn't got the greatest passing, but he can find Munoz on this left-hand side. If he can play it down the wing there, we've got two boys sitting on top of each other. Moise Keane and Casada. He'll keep the ball nicely. Munoz plays it in. Hlozek with a first-time strike. Goes just over the bar. That would have been pretty special. Another highlight now, Quadrado bringing it down the right-hand side, combining with Frank Kessie. Decent challenge in by Minos, but he doesn't manage to win the ball cleanly, and Quadrado can play it in. Anel clears. Kessie plays it to Rabiot, and they've got a lot of space to exploit on this left-hand side. Rabiot takes full advantage of that, gets to the byline, and whips it in, and that's Dijan Kulisevsky with the first goal of the game, six minutes in. Corner for Juventus, Quadrado plays it in. Giglione clears Ronaldo's header off the line. Demiral, it's still alive. Delict on the edge. He can't shoot. Plays it out to Benucci on this right-hand side. Get out there, Minos. Get him challenged. Benucci hasn't got the dribbling or the crossing. It's been all Juve, to be quite honest with you, lads. I'm not seeing a way back into this game for us as Quadrado cuts inside from the right-hand side and switches it to his left-back. Uh, Alexandro, who's got acres of space to run into, plays it in. Munoz clears. They're just overloading us on both wings, which is really, really causing us a problem. Quadrado... Whips it in. Giglione clears again. Alexandro's on the edge of the box. Alcaraz blocks. But yeah, their wing backs in Quadrado and Alexandro are really, really running this game. And there we are. Dejan Kulisevsky, 16th goal of the season. His second goal of the game. And we are sinking without a trace. Can we get one back, boys? Nice and quick. Oh, Kessie. Oh, it was a foul by Benucci. He's sent off. Is that his second yellow card? Well, Juventus are down to 10 men. Um... <laughs> What for? I have no idea. It was uh, Kessie who made the ta challenge that we saw. Alcaraz with a free kick is saved by Chesney. So it'll be interesting to see if they've maybe dropped their wing-backs back now that they're down to 10 men. We'll have to wait and see after this highlight. Almada feeds it through to Hlozek who's in behind and Adam Hlozek doesn't miss from there. He's 38th goal of the season. Brings it back to 2-1. Can we motor on now? 10 men. Come on, we can do it. 
they haven't even changed. Oh, now they've changed formation. They've dropped one of their attacking midfielders, went to a more narrow formation. Hopefully that will work in our favour in terms of being able to defend their attacks. Um, whether it'll mean we can break them down any better though is remains to be seen as the first half sort of peters out. Uh, unlucky boys, keep going. Let's see how we can do in this second half. Almada with a free kick, 50 minutes in. Chesney claims it easy. Casata to Almada. Moyes Keane coming down this left-hand side. Can he whip it in against his former club? Quadrado stands him up. He does get the uh, the ball in. Chesney can claim it easy. Hlozek was the intended target. Oh, and the ball over the top. Straight over for Memphis to pie. Nice little dink. And it's as simple as that. That's what happens when you play a high line, Sam. Maybe you should have dropped it earlier when you see Memphis to pie up front. But it's too, too little too late. He's 13th goal of the season. 3-1 down against 10 men. It is disappointing. 55 minutes gone, Juventus keeping possession well in the midfield. If we can maybe nick it from them somewhere here, boys, that will be absolutely fantastic. Delict bringing it forward. There we are. Almada cuts out the pass. Munoz has got the ball on for Hlozek and it's poor. Alcaraz offers himself for Giglione and receives the ball. Drives down the right. Whipped it in. Almada to Moyes Keane. Is he offside? He's offside. Ah, oh, the goal's been disallowed. 25 minutes to go and a lot of work to do to save this match. Against 10 men... It is Juventus, but we should be doing better, in my opinion. And now, to Giglione on this right-hand side. We'll have acres of space down the wings now for our wing-backs to exploit, now that they've changed to a much more narrow formation. Melodoni to Casata, and Casata's pass is poor. We do retain possession, though. Moise Keane to Giglione. Over the top for Casata. He's in behind, and his shot is terrible. Free kick for UV Memphis Depay. Takes it. Casata cuts it out. Melodoni, it's 2-1-2. Two Come on, Thiago Almada. You've got Moise Keane there. He's in acres of space. If you can find him. Oh, it's too late. No, it's not. Moise Keane's there. Is he offside? I don't think he is. Genoa 2, Juve 3. We've got 20 minutes to save this game. Come on, boys. 18 minutes to go. And we have ourselves another highlight. Moise Keane. Oh, Lozek. Come on, boy. Giglione receives the ball from Enel. And he can drive down that right-hand side unimpeded until he hits. Oh, Algarask, Moise Keane. Come on. He's not offside. Do not do it to me, referee. He is not offside. Genoa 3, UV 3. Could this be the comeback of the season? He's 16th goal of the season. Come on, boys. One more. We'll look to freshen up some legs for the final 10. Alcaraz is absolutely running out of steam. We'll bring on Milan Bidel and we'll put Milan Bidel in defensive midfield. Almada, you've had a good game, but you're coming off for Eldor. Giglione can come off for Sardella. We are going to make our wing-backs attacking rather than supportive. It might be a risk. It might be a risk of ending up losing this game, but... With 10 men, we've got to go for it. Oh, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Four minutes remain and we do have a highlight. Alexandro with a throw in is cut out by Eldor. Melagioni is the only man going forward for this. It looks like it's a three on three, but Juve are quickly getting back. Melagioni's legs may be a little bit too tired. Eldor, fresh legs, cannot get past Demiral. Kessie can play through to Memphis Depay. And Federico Chiesa has come on with his fresh legs. Can drive Juventus forward. Come on, get the challenge in now. Oh, Danilo whips it in Memphis to buy. Oh, jeez, he's not offside either. Ah, oh, we went for it and we've been punished. To no three, UV4. Skip the replays. Ah, oh, that is absolutely devastating. We could have settled for a draw. We went for the win. That's how we do things here, boys. And we got beat. And with that result, we do remain in second place in Syria. We are eight points clear from Napoli in fifth, but they do have a game in hand. So five points clear, let's say, uh, beyond the club's chase in Champions League. In terms of our schedule, we do have a much more favourable running than I would imagine some of the teams have. In terms of the next episode, it's going to be Fiorentina at home, the final game of the season. Unless there is like a key game in here somewhere where we absolutely have to win, then I'll come back for that. But either way, it'll be the end of the season in the next episode. If you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.